We've had a quick hey guys, what's up? It's Bastulio's Rage coming at you live and in color. Lots of charge from this episode oh, of Bastulio, you know, uh, Minecraft series on <laughs> Indian, you know, Indian Ben, that's good. It is River Bend with uh, Dula and Hakai. Hey, Dula Hakai, you want guys want to say hi to my viewers? Hello. Hello, viewers. Hello, so, yeah, viewers. so Dula's going to give us a tour of the Indian. I keep saying Indian Ben because like, that's actually a uh, road here in Phoenix. So, yeah, but River Bend. So. Uh, Dula, if you want to go and take this away, and Hawkeye's uh, not going to kill me this time, so... <laughs> I could. Well, I know you could, but still. <laughs> not, not, for, not for my viewers, okay? <laughs> well, welcome fellow Cyberdog, fellow Minecrafters, and fellow Mind Squatches all over the world. This is Delacaba, and I want to welcome you to River Bend. Especially, I want to welcome you, Pastulio's Rage, because it is so good to have some friends here. Um, we are right now in the magical Infinity Garden. Being a Mind Squatch, of course, I must have my foresty area to live in, but I'm also a very sophisticated Mind Squatch, so I've got to have my city area to live in. This is my compromise. The Infinity Garden is created in such a way that, in theory, when you're standing here looking off into it, it gives the impression of being a much larger wooded area. It reminds me of home. Very nice. You know? <laughs> No, I don't yeah. have any giant sequoia trees or anything, but, you know, it's, it's close enough. My friend Patty likes it. Oh, that's but, fantastic. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, and so so what I've done is everywhere I've gone as I've traveled, I've brought back a little bit of it. So I've got my orchids here from when I found my swamp biome. Got my little piece of desert over here in the corner. Oh, very nice. I didn't even notice this. You didn't see this before? No, 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 no. I was waiting for the actual tour to actually look around. I mean, I know I've been building on here for two days now, but still. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like to keep things a secret. Plus, also, you know, uh, even, even for myself, it's just the way that I work. It's just it's just more fun that way. All right. Well, this is River Bend, so-called, because it's surrounded on, on three sides by a bend of a river. Ooh. And uh, when I first found it, there were two little villager houses here. And so what I did is I co-opted the space and helped the villagers to thrive and survive. But um, part of the build is about my living space and part of the build is actually for the villagers because nice. it was kind of my promise to them in the beginning that if I tore down their houses, I would make them something better. Well, that's so fantastic. So I suppose what we should do is we should come on over and meet the villagers and then you'll understand what we got going on. I like it, I like it, I like it. Let's do it. So right over Dude. here, this is the the temporary lodging for the villagers. Stay out, Hawkeye. Um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so in here is what began as two villagers when oh, I first crap. arrived. Oh, has become whoa, a, dang, dude! A, a lot of serious oh. community of villagers. Um, That's not even the word and, for it, dude. <laughs> And so what we have here is we have seven librarians, we have a three blacksmiths, we've got uh, a butcher and a leather tanner and a bunch of clerics. And so as a result, that inspired what has become the, the beginning of the build here. So I guess what we'll do is we'll start for the area that I put together for the librarians and clerics. Um, like I like clerics. There's just uh, they, they finally gave you know gave a, a purpose to the zombie flesh, and that's I think that's yeah, very nice. That yep. was nice. So this building right here is the library and monastery, oh. and so the lower floor here is going to be filled with books, and this is actually going to be a library. And since I have seven librarians, there's a little alcove for each of them. So there are five alcoves over nice. here, which will each have their own little librarian in it, and then there's one on uh, either side of the front of the building. I, like I guess you'd say the, you know, the head librarians. Cool. Because also my uh, my girlfriend uh, uh, she she's not she's not much of a Minecraft player but she calls herself contemplating Merlin or uh, Merlin yeah. or Merlin's yo-yo as it were. Uh, she is a bookworm so she likes everything to do with uh, you know with with books and libraries and such. Oh, yeah. Well, so up here, this is an area for basically where this is a monastery, I guess you'd say. It's where the clerics would live. And so this area here is going to be their kitchen and dining hall. They need a brew station, too, because, you know, yes, like they monks do. definitely yes, got to have their brews. Absolutely. And then on either side of the central uh, staircase here are a couple of little dorms. There's one on each side because they, of course, live according to their vow of poverty, so they live dorm style. I love it. But then uh, down here on the ends, we've got uh, two matching cubicles, one on either side 
for I guess where where they would sit and do their copy work, you know, copying various documents. Oh, describing and such. I like that actually. Yep. That's really cool. Yep. And then we've got a we've got a nice little uh, porch out here where they can come in and enjoy oh, the sunshine. The oh my god, I love the glass floor. That's actually really cool. That's a that's a nice touch, Dula. So yeah, that is. So this is built for the librarians and the clerics. This is so cool right here. Yeah, right now they can't hear me talking. And right then now, but still. we also have awesome. three blacksmiths, one of whom is a toolsmith, one who's a general blacksmith, and one who is an armorsmith. Oh, and very nice. Er, so over here, we have created the Smythe Brothers Armor, or Smythe Brothers Metal Works. So the uh, tool brother will be in the left side here. All right. The normal, or just, I guess you'd say plain one, will be in the center part, and then the armor smith will be on the right part. That's so why there, the So there's gate. a difference with the, with the metal works? Like, what does he just give, like, um, just straight does, up uh, stuff, or what Like what does he do? He does, so one does tools, one does um, weapons, and one does armor. Ah, okay. It's like, I've always wondered what, like, the difference with that whole thing is, because, like, yeah. obviously things are a little bit different, so. Yep. Yeah. So we've got the two sides, and then this is where the central forge is. So this like is where this. they do all their forge work, and then they display on either side. That is so, so cool. We've, so we've got our furnaces and our forge. And uh, the reason for the gates, of course, is that villagers Get go separated. through doors. And so the, the fences will keep them from leaving the building. Oh, for um, cheesy. And then we've got... Uh, uh, Cindy and Lindy, who who are the uh, yeah. those sisters who work together. Um, Lindy leather. kills kills the cows and makes food out of them, and then Cindy <laughs> makes fine leather goods. That's fantastic. Their remains. I like that. So. That's actually really cool. So it's like a <laughs> it's Lindy. a butcher <laughs> and a uh, leather and a, and a leather worker. So that's awesome. Yep. That's so again, awesome. each one will have their own side once once we get everything installed. You know. So we'll have chests in here, and this is this will be a great place to to just store our animal byproducts. You know, byproducts. I like that <laughs> byproducts. <laughs> no filler, right? No filler. <laughs> no fillers. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> right. And then uh, up over here, this this is kind of for now at least. It's my living space. I don't know if I'll eventually make this like the town hall or something like that. But uh, over here, this is the the pool slash fishing area. Oh, a fishing hole. Yeah, I wanted to give it kind of a little bit of a greenhouse type of feel. I like this. It's very nice. You can have a nice refreshing swim. Ooh, yeah, baby. That that, that, that that was very refreshing. That's as close to a bath as I ever get, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. And then uh, over here, we have our various dynasties. Over here, this is the Chicken Dynasty. But the Chicken Dynasty or the Shikan? The Shikan Dynasty. This is... is Dynastico de Puerco. Oh, uh, El Porco, gotcha. Yep, El Puerco. And then we've got our, our sheepies here, our sheepy dynasty, our cowie yeah, dynasty. Like it. And and then here we have our, our private horses, but um, private, uh, gotcha. our yeah. area here is just surrounded by horses and and That's awesome. Burros. He's got a lot of stuff and going so here, guys. This is we've sweet. We've got lots and lots of them around. We've we've got two of them that roam freely inside the space here. They're volunteers. Basically, they were here from the beginning and they never left. So as I built the fence oh. around, they stayed. Oh, free, uh, free, 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 free range spirits. horses. Gotcha. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the free spirits. Do, well, <laughs> yep. you need to have some free range chickens too, because honestly, I, I gotta have cage free uh, free range chicken. Well, I, I started take... our free range chicken dynasty, but I don't know where he went. I love <laughs> <laughs> how Hawkeye's trying to make create the free range chicken for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that just kind of got to me right there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then this is Villa de Squatch. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Vi Villa de Squatch. Yeah, I was telling my viewers it was the Casa de Dula. Yeah. This is yeah. Villa de Squatch. Um, first, we, we've got the family here. Gotta come meet the family. Family! Oh, yeah. Hey, looks yeah. Goldie, Violet, Blue, and. And uh, over here in the corner is Rosie. Well, yep, you know, you could, you could have, you could have called this one Naranja. Yeah, that's true. We so, could yeah. have called him Naranja. Yep, oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's Rosie. Oh, hey, Rosie. It's so cute. But um, then over here, this is this is just a, a living room of of simple proportions, with Ooh, like a little it. bit of my decorating and a little bit of decorating from uh, Bunny and Z and I Possum. Oh, very nice. Oh yeah, I need to I need to get them to show me their uh, 
I guess you could say they're RV whenever they, they pop back on. <laughs> since, oh, yeah, our, yeah. since our castle's not done yet. Yep. And then we have what is our temporary storage area off around the corner here. All right, check um, it out. Yeah. All very neatly organized by Hawkeye. Hawkeye, oh, you only. OCD beautiful person. <laughs> yep. And then, of course, our little crafting table here just to, oh, to yeah. make crafting possible. But I've just got done uh, through the kitchen here, very which nice, was also nice. decorated by the ladies. Oh, um, yeah, that's right. They put up the, the the blank banners and stuff to make them look like shades. That's fantastic. I would have yeah. never have thought about that. What about the hood over the stoves? Well, you, know, well, yep. you, saw, you guys saw on the Cyberdyne Nation server that I actually have a hood over my stove. Do you? Mm. Yeah, like, you guys have to check that out. And so, Oh, are you going to show me the new... Uh, Blaze yep. and Grace edition? Uh, yeah, I just yeah. got done coming down here and creating this space, which is going to oh. be actually our proper storage space. That's, see, this is nice, because like, I, I saw this underground, oh. but the thing was I didn't see that you'd actually done all this stuff with it. That's actually yep. really, you know, really, really nice. I think that, honestly, yeah. down here on the floor, yeah, yeah, maybe we should, you know, you should try to do, like, switch out the floor, maybe, because, like, I could see there being cobble on the walls and then something else on the floor. Yep. And Maybe then of course awesome. I wanna, you know, I wanna get some uh, glowstone up above so we can do away with all these torches. Oh, yeah. for sure, because the torches are really messy. But I wanted to make sure and make this high enough that we can, you know, do multiple chests going up. Oh, oh for yeah. cheesy! Oh, that yeah. actually sounds really so cool. We should basically have enough room here for as much storage as as we could possibly require. I like it. Uh, in the words of Bugs Bunny, I like it. <laughs> It's too bad we couldn't have like a chest for every item, and that would take a lot of chests. That would yeah, be a lot would... of chests, but it actually is possible, though. Just ask Ozzy from the old uh, Cyberdog Nation server. He had a oh, yeah. chest for everything. Yep. How but... many items are there? Just down to oh, chaos. geez. Uh, I'm sure upwards of 200. Upwards. But up here is the sunroom. Oh, I love this room. And... Uh, I've been trying to get a hold of a silk touch anything so that I could get a block of grass to for my orchid garden here. That'd be I so much nicer. Seen. Oh yeah, we'll work on that for you, dude. It it just hasn't happened, so I'm starting to think I may have to run a you know a dirt stair up and through the wall to try to transfer grass in here. Well, I mean that, that would be the cheap time. way to do it, but that would take yeah. forever and a day because you gotta take wait. A long time. And you'd yeah. have to waste some of your uh, some you know, some of your amazing glass panes here. Mm. But. That's pretty much, you know, we got we've got a lower a down below, which is uh, all the great below. Yeah, you know, That's which right. is is where our our nether portal is. Ah, uh, perfect fishing weather. Oh yeah, I t I t I've showed my viewers that bit, oh, so yeah, oh, we don't need yeah. to see that bit. So yeah, we're good right. with that one. But so that's pretty much that's pretty much it, and the rest of the interesting stuff belongs to Hawk and the ladies. So. So yeah, I'll definitely have to like you know uh, get them later. So. Yeah. All right, then. I've just gotten started here over Ooh, on the side. Oh, that's right, the building. church. Duh. Yeah, I've just gotten started with the little chapel I'm building over here. I'm I'm making it out of acacia wood. I was wondering. Looks great so far, acacia. actually. Yeah. I like it. I figure the contrast because sorry the, about that, guys. The the library we've got the up and down planks, and over here we'll have the side to side planks. So yeah, and so you're gonna have some. Uh, I'm sure you're gonna have some stained glass windows in here too. So absolutely, and that's that's almost the entire re reason I'm building this, is so that the back wall on the sunrise side of things, I can do a great big stained glass window with like uh, I don't know an evergreen tree or something and you know that is gonna look amazing that's all I can say yes, really with that bit right know, there because that is fantastic in my in my uh, old cyber dog nation server build I had dust on tower and it was built specifically to catch the sunrise and sunset through the wonderful colored glass and the John Smith texture pack. oh my god and that's I really fantastic you know I really miss it so well, alrighty then. Well, that uh, that definitely, you know, is uh, uh, honestly, I can't wait to see what we come up with all of us, you know, when oh, this whole I'm thing sure is all said and done. Pretty cool. Oh, things. I'm I'm so excited not only not only to have community have you guys here on on Riverbend, but to also be building a community, finally be able to turn this into a proper town. I'm sure that this platform we have here is going to eventually extend out all the way to the river, oh, and I'm yeah. sure there's going to be stuff on the other side where it angles off over there, and there's a big gorgeous lake on the other side, and I'm hoping that we maybe build Lake Town over there or something. I mean, I'm really looking forward to just building and building and building like crazy. I have a request, though. What's that? My one request is is that you let me build my paranormal uh, 
marketplace underneath the church because it would actually help contain everything. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So I think that would be actually be really cool because uh, you guys remember my my old uh, paranormal uh, marketplace that I had on the old Cyberdog Nation server. Oh yeah. Yep. And I plan on finding the relics on this world as well. Right on. Uh, well, sorry get, already. If you would maybe build steps going down right here. That's what I'm saying. Just like it just go, it would go right <laughs> yeah. underneath the church because it's the only way that I could actually contain everything that you know I would basically find on this realm. I tell you what, talk. Well, I might be able to do it if I do some research, but I, but the uh, ladies they know how to do it without doing any research. Have them build some kind of a thing, and maybe it'll just a open power up. door. Yeah. See, yeah. I, I, you know what? Actually, I know how to do that. It would actually work you out really well. Yeah, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Well, alrighty then. Thank you so much, Dula, for showing me around, and I can't wait to see what we come up with. And I'm gonna be basically doing, uh, you know, videos on this uh, for the next, you know, while until we figure out something really, really cool to do. So, uh, you guys wanna go ahead and say goodbye to my viewers? <laughs> goodbye, right. viewers. Goodbye, viewers. Right. Thank you for joining us here in Riverbend. All right. Thank, thank you so you much, for guys. Joining us, guys. Oh yeah. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>